Cats are a global phenomenon that we have been trying to debunk for centuries. These mysterious creatures portray all different emotions, which are sometimes hard for the bare human eye or ear to interpret. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to spot one of the most common emotions your cat may be feeling. Anger and being fucking pissed. Hello! So today, I am going to be teaching you guys how to tell on your own at home if your cat is fucking pissed. First up, of course, before we get started with figuring out if the cat is pissed or not, you're going to need a cat. So let's go find one. Hi, Livy. I found the cat. You want to come downstairs? Your cat is probably pissed if you wake them up from a cat nap. Because cats love to nap. It's scientifically proved. Cats love to nap. If you wake a cat up from their cat nap, they're going to be fucking pissed. Let me tell you, and let me show you. It's time to wake up. Hi. Are you ready to wake up? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> As you can see, she was pissed. She was real pissed, and that is not even the worst of it. Wait till you see what's coming next. The lighting in here is terrible. I'm gonna need you to change rooms so I can finish my video. Chances are your cat is even more pissed if you woke him or her up for your own selfish, greedy needs, like making a YouTube video. See, my cat knows what the hell I'm doing, so she's extra fucking pissed. I often make my cat stop giving herself a bath so that she can give me a bath, because we all know that humans are superior to animals, so if she's taking a bath, I'm gonna be like, stop that bitch, give me a bath. I'm the human, and I have a lot more dirty skin than you do. Livy, do you want to come downstairs? Can you come downstairs with me? Please come downstairs with me. Please. Downstairs. My cat is definitely starting to get pissed because I want her to come downstairs and I repeatedly said, come downstairs. Two very triggering words for a cat if they're not going downstairs for food or to go outside. So she's pissed. The tail is flapping. That is one sign that, wow, you do not want to mess with the cat with the tail flap. You don't. Let me show you. As we can see here, the tail flap and whip and slip and flip and flop. And she angry. Let me tell you, she angry. Some other physical um, symptoms of a pissed off cat include the eyes. The eyes will get big, the pupils will get large, or they'll get very small. So it can be either of those pupil dilations that will make the cat be, that's how you know the cat is pissed. And the cat can do a angry cat, or it can do a you bitch cat, or it can just do I'm a cat, leave me the fuck alone. You know you're just pissing me off for a video. I was recording her on my phone before and I was like, hi Olivia, and I wasn't even trying to piss her off. I was just being nice. And she turned around and slapped me in the face. She slapped me right in the face. She just really doesn't like to be on camera. Especially when I just woke her up because she knows that she doesn't look too good. So, she's kind of upset. You look fine though, sweetheart. Stop. There she is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. She's hiding. Shit. 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 Another way to tell for sure that your cat is pissed. They have been in a position for a long time. 
one of those cat positions, you know? And then they switch it up into another cat position. Let me tell you, they don't like to change their positions too often. So when they do, you know something's up. And you know that it was probably your fucking fault. My cat is now in loaf position, which usually doesn't mean they're about to attack because the loaf consists of getting rid of the limbs and putting them inside of the loaf. As you can see, no limbs are visible at this time. So right now, we're sort of safe. But cats can move quickly and change their positions very fast if they want to. So I mean, this loaf can become attack panther in just seconds. Another thing. My cat is doing that weird vibration noise right now, and it's like, you feel the cat vibrate, you hear the cat vibrate. And I think some people call that purring. Well, I call that one of the sure far ways to know that your cat is fucking pissed. Because who, like, you know when people are angry and the It means that they're pissed. So I mean, cats, they do that purr vibration thing. They're pissed. My cat does that a lot. As soon as I start touching her, she does that shit. Okay, so just know. You hear your cat purr, it means they're pissed. Stop touching them. Even if they crawl back to you and want to be touched again, stop touching them because they're gonna keep doing that purring shit and you, it's not good. You do not want to escalate that. Now, right now, my cat isn't doing the next symptom I'm going to talk about, but we all know of this one when the cat has the big poof tail. Big poof tail. Uh, you know that something's up, and a lot of times we don't know what's up, like they just walk in the room and all of a sudden the tail is big poof, and you're like, oh no, what happened in the other room? Something happened before you walked in here because your tail was not poof two seconds ago. And I'm just going to explain scientifically quickly what, like how the poof happens. And basically, it's just like when the cat gets scared, irritated, triggered, whatever, they blow the air that's in there lungs and they push it back out towards their backside but instead of like for humans it coming out as like a fart or a gas it comes out in their tail so it kind of just goes through the tail uh, bone and muscle and it blows out into the fur and it just makes the tail like erect obviously humans they don't have a tail we have tail bones so sometimes like our gas our angry gas tries to get in there but obviously there's no way out except for i hate to say it but the anus so i mean for cats it's different their anus does different other stuff and i mean i do not even really need to speak about this one but obviously if your cat's claws are out they're about to scratch pounce do whatever they need to do so if the claws are out and erect just be aware and be careful. Aside from the, the creepy purring stuff, there's also something called hissing, and it's like this. <laughs> That's what it's like when a cat hisses. I wish I could show you my cat hissing right now, but she is just not in a hissing mood. She's more in like, I'm going to stare at you because I know you're a fucking bitch mood. So if they hiss, that's even worse than purring or meowing. And meowing can mean many different things, as we know. Meowing can be angry, can be happy, can just be like outgoing, talkative, in the mood for some food, or maybe in the mood for something else, if you know what I mean. The hissing, that is just them saying, back off. They're not going about it in any discreet way. They're just, <laughs> back off. It's like when a human just yells out, fuck you. That basically means, back off, stop. And that is the cat's way of saying, fuck you. <laughs> Those are, I think, some, like, top important um, symptoms of a super fucking pissed cat. So, if you have a cat at home and you've experienced any of these things with him or her, then I suggest you watch out. Because they are on the rise, they're coming for us, and, you know, I obviously suggest that you try to get rid of your cat as soon as possible. But if that's just not realistic for you and your family at the time, then just make sure you keep them in a secluded area and have no contact with them. Because you do not want to get hurt. Those purrs, those hisses, that tail poof, these are all powers that us humans don't have. We need to be wary of these things. I hope that this video taught you something about your cat at home and ways that you She's making noises at me like, this is a bunch of bullshit. These are ways that you and your family can stay protected against your pissed off cat. Are you pissed? 
Are you pissed? Are you pissed? That booty hole though.